the process. When you think about process, it does require somebody tell you to let the process work. It requires some faith when somebody tells you to let the process work. Because if faith generally means believing something you can't see. And when I talk about process from a business standpoint, we're talking about any long term process where the outcome is not immediately visible or guaranteed. You don't know where this thing is going to go. So if somebody say trust in the process, they're asking you to take a leap of faith. Now, one thing about the process, the process is not always pretty. Some people call it, it's like making sausages. And if you ever make it, you ever seen anybody make sausages, you probably never eat sausage again. But the bottom line is when that process is done, you have a nice round patty you can put on the side with some eggs and grits, get you a cup of coffee, and everybody's happy. So you don't want to see that sausage being made. What you, you generally want to see is the outcome. You want to see that nice little patty. If you're, if you're a vegetarian, then, of course, you can do use that same analogy with uh, however the sausage is being made. So, and the process can sometimes seem disorganized. It can seem discombobulated. And people are still asking you to believe in the process. Let the process work. Now, I'm going to give you a tangible example of a process that you can actually see. Now, when somebody starts building a house, that's a process. You have a tangible something in front of you. You can see it happening. You can see it manifesting. You don't have to think about, wonder how it's coming along. Anybody who, who has ever had a house built from the ground up, you know what I'm talking about. You put down that contract. They say, I'm, putting, I'm building your house over here in this development. They'll show you the lot where it's going to be built and everything. And you know, during well, first thing you're going to do is start riding by there. You drive by there on the way home from work. You drive by there on the way to the store. You're taking a scenic route everywhere just so you can ride by your house being built to see how the process is coming along. Now, if they told you that house is going to be delivered on February 14th, and you drove by there on February 12th and you hadn't poured the concrete, you know something's wrong with that process. <laughs> something's going wrong somewhere. But what if there is no house and there's no concrete pouring? How do you know that that process is actually going the way it's supposed to happen? That's one example of a tangible process, but there are other processes, like laws. When people are making laws. Like you see these folks over in Congress fighting it out. They put a bill on the floor, Man, they're in there putting each other in headlocks. There's all kind of stuff going on. That's one of the, where that term making sausages, that's where it's probably used the most. It's really messy. It's ugly. But in the end, you have a bill, whether you like it or not. But it had to go through the process. Wellness, your health. Another process. Just don't be well. You have to go through the process of eating right, getting enough rest, drinking water, exercising. And in the end, you have a healthy body. You're letting the process work. Social media, once again, the process. You're like, man, I've been posting and sharing and tweeting and commenting. When am I going to get rich? <laughs> well, you might not ever get rich, but if you believe in the process, you got to let the process play out. You can't go in there and tweet a couple of times and catch, get out of net and catch the money because there's a process involved. <laughs> so, so we do have to understand the process. Now, marketing, what I do is the process. Now, this is one of the things I have to I have to kind of deal with a lot of clients on a, a basis. And they, you know, they like, well, look, Gatewood, it's, 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 it's been a month now. When am I gonna get rich? <laughs> well, I hate to say it, it's not, it doesn't quite work like that. Uh, there's a process involved, particularly in something like marketing that's intangible. Now, I'm gonna tell you why. I'm going to give you some examples, even though even for myself. So I'm going to put myself under scrutiny when we're talking about this process. This process applies to companies like mine, wellness, social media, the house, laws, all that kind of stuff. But I'm going to, I'm going to take it some out of the ethereal and let's put it in some tangibles so that you can, when you start dealing with folks like me who are saying let the process work, you have at least something to go by. You have something a little more, something, a little more meaty to sink your teeth in. Now, the first thing I want you to do when somebody say let the process work, I want you to let, make sure, first of all, that you have, you trust that person who's saying it. 
if some joke I've never heard of, some internet company, some company I found on the internet, uh, some guy working out of Pakistan, or I don't know these people, man, they could be skinheads or whatever. They can't tell me to let the process work. They may have a different agenda than me. That also goes back to your purpose. This person who's telling you to let the process work and that process that they are putting before you, does it align with your purpose? There's so many things in business and life. It keeps coming back to your purpose. What am I on this earth to do? What is my objective? What is the mark that I plan to leave? Where do I plant my flag? What is my reason, my raison d'etre, my reason for being? Is this process, is it going to manifest that? And do I trust the person who's I'm putting, I'm putting it in their hands? Okay. Now, when you say trust, <laughs> even when you talk about Gatewood, I'm a trustworthy guy. I mean, I ain't, I've never taken a dollar that I felt I didn't deserve. I'm telling you, if I did, I would have to give it back. But you have to trust but verify. When somebody say, let the process work. I want you to trust, but I want you to verify. Now, I'm not saying, I'm telling you right now, there are some things out here that there is a process. You're going to get impatient. You're going to get concerned. But I'm telling you how to put this at ease. Make sure it's aligned with your purpose. You're dealing with somebody you trust, but you trust but verify. Even Robert Gatewood. You can, how do you do that? You look at their track record. Okay. I wouldn't be sitting up here on this airwaves for the whole world to see me if I'm doing something nefarious or untowards. You know who I am. You know where I am. You know where to find me. So I think my track record speaks for itself and I'm trustworthy. This is what you have to do when you're looking for that person who's telling you to trust and to let the process work. Now, let's get a little more. Let's get a little more tangible about this. Let's talk about things like KPIs and milestones. When that person tells you let the process work, there are certain ways, there are certain things you can actually do to kind of hold their feet to the fire. Uh, there's a critical path method. Make sure that when you when they when you're doing these conversations, that they have put you on some type of track to, to verify that the process is actually moving along. You can do a uh, a Gantt schedule, that's a generalized activity normalization timetable. You can do a PERT as a program project evaluation and review technique. And of course, then that's CPM, the critical path method. Now, when we take on a client, generally what we do, we do a, we put together a marketing strategy and we put together a milestone, which usually includes a, a Gantt schedule, tells you when things are going to happen, what they're going to cost you, and when you plan to see some type of result. So when somebody say let the process work, you do, there is, you can as a business owner demand some type of accountability instead of just trusting. And like I say, trust but verify. And last but not least, when it's talk, talking about you, the client, faith is one thing, but I'm going to tell you to keep one eye open. <laughs> Don't do blind faith. He said that for the Almighty. But we're talking about humans. We're talking about people here on earth. I want you to be faithful, but don't be blind. Keep one of those eyes open. Make sure you don't let things get out of control. Now, now I'm going to talk to the people who are actually providing, who's telling people to let the process work. You have some responsibility too. First thing I want you to do is to be honest and trustworthy. Don't tell somebody to let the process work and you're not a trustworthy person. Now, sometimes you don't know that right off the bat. That's why I said deal with people who have a track record that you already know. Now, there's certain things you don't need. A, you don't need all this faith and process. I mean, if somebody want to sell you a, a bag of cookies, I don't need to have faith and worry about the process. Hey, man, give me that bag of cookies. Back on it. Give me that, that pair of shoes. We're talking about these long term projects, whereas the outcome is not immediately foreseeable or guaranteed.
you do, it is required of you, you have to let the process work. And that's hard sometimes. I know. I'm telling you, this is a, you're going to endure this, you're going to encounter this as a business owner. Somebody wants you to let the process work. And believe it or not, it is part of doing business. And it's not somebody just trying to blow smoke. Certain things, there is a process. Now, you as the business owner, when you're telling somebody that the process works, don't overpromise. And some of you are out there right now, you're involved in projects. You're involved in some of these types of services that I mentioned where the outcome is not immediately visible or guaranteed. But it is, becomes incumbent upon you to take these steps. Be honest and trustworthy. Be truthful. Don't overpromise. Now, the other thing you have to do, you, the person who's delivering the service, the provider, you have to believe in it. If you don't believe it, how are you going to expect anybody else to believe it? Which means you have to keep up with your certifications. You have to stay on top of your game. You have to believe that you can deliver this process, this project, in order for the process to work. And something else you have to do as this business owner, you have to communicate. You have to let people know what's going on. And that's one of the things I've been I've been uh, harping on. I have my staff. And I can't I can't say it enough to them that you have to communicate with people. And because and sometimes you have to you have to make sure that things get what they're supposed to get. Information. Can't rely on email necessarily. Sometimes email goes into spam. Sometimes it get, doesn't get delivered at all. You have to be communicative. You have to communicate in the midst of that process in order for you to instill confidence in the people that you are asking to let the process work. Now, sometimes the person that you working with, you as the provider, sometimes there was some of that responsibility might fall on the on the other client. But you can't say, hey, look, hey. It's your fault because you didn't do this. That's not the approach. But you do have to communicate to them what, what might happen that might cause the process to slow down. So communication is important. Now, here's something that this is my own little my own little tip for people who are involved in these long processes. And you have clients who are kind of sitting on their own pins and needles waiting on things to start jumping off. You have to throw in some short term tangible benefits. That's why when people come to us and they say, look, I want a marketing, I want some marketing. Make me rich, Gatewood. Now I'm saying to myself, I hope you have some time and patience and understand that this is going to be a process. I'm going to get you there. But otherwise, I wouldn't take you on as a client. But we got to understand there's a lot of things I can't control, some things you can't control. But we have to let the process. And we have to follow those steps that I told you up there earlier. Trust um, and verifying, and keeping one eye open and following these Perks and CPMs and Gantt schedules and so forth. We do all that, but still, you want to see something. <laughs> That's why sometimes when people come to us and, and they give us these, we got these long term projects, and we know, I'm saying to myself, we're probably not going to see anything for at least three months. But you got to throw in something to let this person know, make them feel that if something is happening. Sometimes you got to throw in a bill of or something they can see. Business cards, do a direct mail campaign, do a uh, put up a landing page, uh, do something that lets them know that this process is evolving. I don't do anything that's gratuitous or something that's, uh, that's perfunctory. These are things that actually should be helping the process move. But this is just working, work, this is just really a Human psychology comment. I'm the same way. I'm serious. I give somebody some money and they, and two months gone by, I haven't seen anything. I'm starting to say, well, I'm getting a little worried, a little concerned. <laughs> that doesn't mean they're not working. That just means that, yeah, you told me all this stuff, but I need to see something. So that's a provider. That's something you have to do for your clients. 
let them see some type of progress, something tangible that this process is going on. And I know sometimes you're saying your, your business provider, look, I don't have time to be playing with that kind of stuff. I'm out here doing the hard work to make sure we get to meet these milestones. Yeah, 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 that's nice too. But we're dealing with human beings. We're all human beings. And we all have, have certain expectations. There are certain things that are predictable. And one of those things is that when people are working for you, you want to see some type of progress and you want to see something tangible. And the last thing for you to provide them is that you have to work zealously and exceed expectations every step of the way. Now, people can see that. And they might not see you actually doing the work, the sausage making all this. But when you're updating them constantly, showing them progress, letting them know what is happening, keeping them abreast of what's happening, uh, then there is there are ways that you can demonstrate that the process is working. It does require quite a bit of faith. And I do sometimes, I feel sorry for people who are in industries like myself. And I'm not just saying this for me, but I'm really talking about people that have some long-term projects. And it's like, man, I gave you the example of the house. When the house is being built, you see the concrete being poured. You ride by there the next day, they put up the frame. By the next way, the guys out there putting bricks on, putting up that little brick front. You don't see whole brick houses in anymore. Hardly, you don't see many of them. They do like the brick here or what you call the front, the facade. They put that up, and you go by there the next time. They lay down the or they uh, what do you call it? Uh, put in the bay window. You see that progress taking place. So that housing person doesn't just have to send you an email saying, hey, by the way, we're pouring your concrete tomorrow. You can actually see it. But when you're involved in a process that's long term, then it becomes incumbent upon you, the client and the provider, to communicate. And But the, the, the honest is really on you, the provider. To be honest, truthful, don't overpromise, believe in it communicate, offer some type of short-term benefits, and then I want you to work zealously to exceed the expectations of that uh, project every step of the way.